A gravitational singularity or spacetime singularity is a location in spacetime where the gravitational field of a celestial body becomes infinite in a way that does not depend on the coordinate system. The quantities used to measure gravitational field strength are the scalar invariant curvatures of spacetime, which includes a measure of the density of matter. Since such quantities become infinite within the singularity, the laws of normal spacetime cannot exist. Gravitational singularities are mainly considered within general relativity, where density apparently becomes infinite at the center of a black hole, and within astrophysics and cosmology as the earliest state of the universe during the Big Bang. Physicists are undecided whether the prediction of singularities means that they actually exist or existed at the start of the Big Bang, or that current knowledge is insufficient to describe what happens at such extreme densities. General relativity predicts that any object collapsing beyond a certain point for stars this is the Schwarzschild radius would form a black hole, inside which a singularity covered by an event horizon would be formed. The Penrose-Hawking singularity theorems define a singularity to have geodesics that cannot be extended in a smooth manner. The termination of such a geodesic is considered to be the singularity. The initial state of the universe, at the beginning of the Big Bang, is also predicted by modern theories to have been a singularity. In this case the universe did not collapse into a black hole, because currently known calculations and density limits for gravitational collapse are usually based upon objects of relatively constant size, such as stars, and do not necessarily apply in the same way to rapidly expanding space such as the Big Bang. Neither general relativity nor quantum mechanics can currently describe the earliest moments of the Big Bang, but in general, quantum mechanics does not permit particles to inhabit a space smaller than their wavelengths. Topic. Interpretation Many theories in physics have mathematical singularities of one kind or another. Equations for these physical theories predict that the ball of mass of some quantity becomes infinite or increases without limit. This is generally a sign for a missing piece in the theory, as in the ultraviolet catastrophe, renormalization, and instability of a hydrogen atom predicted by the Larmor formula. Some theories, such as the theory of loop quantum gravity suggest that singularities may not exist. This is also true for such classical unified field theories as the Einstein-Maxwell-Dirac equations. The idea can be stated in the form that due to quantum gravity effects, there is a minimum distance beyond which the force of gravity no longer continues to increase as the distance between the masses becomes shorter, or alternatively that interpenetrating particle waves mask gravitational effects that would be felt at a distance. Topic. Types. There are different types of singularities, each with different physical features which have characteristics relevant to the theories in which they originally emerged from, such as the different shape of the singularities, conical and curved. They have also been hypothesized to occur without event horizons, structures which delineate one spacetime section from another in which events cannot affect past the horizon, these are called naked. Topic. Conical. A conical singularity occurs when there is a point where the limit of every diffeomorphism invariant quantity is finite, in which case spacetime is not smooth at the point of the limit itself. Thus, spacetime looks like a cone around this point, where the singularity is located at the tip of the cone. The metric can be finite everywhere if a suitable coordinate system is used. An example of such a conical singularity is a cosmic string and a Schwarzschild black hole. Topic. Curvature Solutions to the equations of general relativity or another theory of gravity, such as supergravity often result in encountering points where the metric blows up to infinity. However, many of these points are completely regular, and the infinities are merely a result of using an inappropriate coordinate system at this point. In order to test whether there is a singularity at a certain point, one must check whether at this point diffeomorphism invariant quantities i.e. scalars become infinite. Such quantities are the same in every coordinate system, so these infinities will not go away by a change of coordinates. An example is the Schwarzschild solution that describes a non-rotating, uncharged black hole. In coordinate systems convenient for working in regions far away from the black hole, a part of the metric becomes infinite at the event horizon. However, spacetime at the event horizon is regular. 
The regularity becomes evident when changing to another coordinate system such as the Kruskal coordinates, where the metric is perfectly smooth. On the other hand, in the center of the black hole, where the metric becomes infinite as well, the solutions suggest a singularity exists. The existence of the singularity can be verified by noting that the Kreshman scalar, being the square of the Riemann tensor i.e. r mu nu rho sigma r mu nu rho sigma Display style r underscore mu nu rho sigma r caret mu nu rho sigma, which is diffeomorphism invariant, is infinite. While in a non-rotating black hole, the singularity occurs at a single point in the model coordinates, called a point singularity. In a rotating black hole, also known as a Kerr black hole, the singularity occurs on a ring, a circular line, known as a ring singularity. Such a singularity may also theoretically become a wormhole. More generally, a spacetime is considered singular if it is geodesically incomplete, meaning that there are freely falling particles whose motion cannot be determined beyond a finite time, being after the point of reaching the singularity. For example, any observer inside the event horizon of a non rotating black hole would fall into its center within a finite period of time. The classical version of the Big Bang cosmological model of the universe contains a causal singularity at the start of time t equals zero, where all time-like geodesics have no extensions into the past. Extrapolating backward to this hypothetical time zero results in a universe with all spatial dimensions of size zero, infinite density, infinite temperature, and infinite spacetime curvature. Topic. Naked singularity. Until the early 1990s, it was widely believed that general relativity hides every singularity behind an event horizon, making naked singularities impossible. This is referred to as the cosmic censorship hypothesis. However, in 1991, physicist Stuart Shapiro and Saul Tukolsky performed computer simulations of a rotating plane of dust that indicated that general relativity might allow for naked singularities. What these objects would actually look like in such a model is unknown. Nor is it known whether singularities would still arise if the simplifying assumptions used to make the simulation were removed. However, it is hypothesized that light entering a singularity would similarly have its geodesics terminated, thus making the naked singularity look like a black hole. Disappearing event horizons exist in the Kerr metric, which is a spinning black hole in a vacuum. Specifically, if the angular momentum is high enough, the event horizons could disappear. Transforming the Kerr metric to Boyer-Lindquist coordinates, it can be shown that the coordinate which is not the radius of the event horizon is r plus or minus equals mu plus or minus mu two minus a two one half display style r underscore pm equals mu pm mu caret two a caret two caret one half where mu equals gm c two display style mu equals gm c caret two and a equals j m c display style a equals j mic. In this case, event horizons disappear means when the solutions are complex for r plus or minus display style r underscore pm or mu two a two display style mu caret two. Disappearing event horizons can also be seen with the Reissner Nordstrom geometry of a charged black hole. In this metric, it can be shown that the singularities occur at r plus or minus equals mu plus or minus mu. 2 minus q 2 1 2 display style r underscore pm equals mu pm mu caret 2 q caret 2 caret 1 half where mu equals g m c 2 display style mu equals g m c caret 2 and Q two equals G Q two four Pi E zero C four Display style Q carrot two equals G Q carrot two four Pi Epsilon underscore zero C carrot four 
of the three possible cases for the relative values of mu mu and q q the case where mu2 q2 mu2 causes both r plus or minus pm to be complex this means the metric is regular for all positive values of r or in other words the singularity has no event horizon Topic entropy Before Stephen Hawking came up with the concept of Hawking radiation, the question of black holes having entropy had been avoided. However, this concept demonstrates that black holes can radiate perhaps, negative energy, which conserves entropy and solves the incompatibility problems with the second law of thermodynamics. Entropy, however, implies heat and therefore temperature. The loss of energy also suggests that black holes do not last forever, but rather evaporate or decay slowly. Small black holes tend to be hotter whereas larger ones tend to be colder. All known black hole candidates are so large that their temperature is far below that of the cosmic background radiation, so they all tend to gain entropical energy, and they will not begin to lose their energy until a cosmological redshift of more than one million is reached, rather than the thousand or so since the background radiation formed. Topic see also topic Notes topic References Roger Penrose 1996. Chandrasekhar, Black Holes, and Singularities. IAS.ac.in. Roger Penrose 1999. The Question of Cosmic Censorship. IAS.ac.in, Tao, P. Singh. Gravitational Collapse, Black Holes and Naked Singularities. IAS.ac.in. Topic further reading The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. This book provides a layman's introduction to string theory, although some of the views expressed are already becoming outdated. His use of common terms and his providing of examples throughout the text help the layperson understand the basics of string theory.